Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a video on Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Uh, yeah, I've done one video on this game before. If you haven't seen that, uh, I kind of just uh, load up the, the intro and kind of find out what's what. Uh, I then played a round as some of the new uh, zombies that were added to the, the game. And now I'm going to play some of the, the new plants. So there's three new plants, Nightcap, Snapdragon, and Acorn. Uh, Nightcap, this is the guy who kept destroying me in the, the last time I played, and he's pretty crazy. He can, like, shoot down this thing, which makes everyone, like, invisible when they're inside of it. And then he can do this thing, which is, um... Which is that. <laughs> as well as, like, um... Oh, this thing. What does this do? Uh... Let me go and just check for... I did check for... Oh, yeah. Disappear and move swiftly. Uh, and you can double jump uh, as well. So, uh, yeah, I've just kind of jumped around in the, the lobby, playing around as them for a bit. So, uh, let's dive into a, a game here. Uh, we're going to do another round of uh, of turf takeover. And I just kind of need to hope that I end up on the, the plant side. Obviously, it's like 50-50 uh, what side you end up being on. Uh, I've played on the uh, the zombies, as I said before. So, fingers crossed... I'm going to be playing as the the plant side, uh, and I can go and uh, try out some of the the new uh, characters. I haven't actually played any more multiplayer rounds, just because I like I like discovering. Even though I'm going to be really bad as the characters, I kind of like discovering kind of during the the video uh, exactly how they work and stuff. Sadly though, we're on the the zombie side, so I'm just going to go and play through this game myself, uh, and then I'm going to keep playing until I end up on the the plant side, uh, and then yeah, I can uh, yeah show you how the new plants work. Okay, right, let's uh, get into this. We are going back into the, the Goopy Gully, which is the, the map that I played, like, uh, partly last time. Uh, but, um, yeah, I was playing it from the, the zombie side, so I'm going to be doing it from the uh, the size of the, the plant. I'm going to be starting off as a nightcap. Uh, just uh, just see how it goes. It's just pretty adorable, isn't it? Like, <laughs> look at him, he's pretty adorable. And this move just looks crazy. I don't know how much damage it's going to actually end up doing. But if it does anything decent, if you just get, like, right into a group of them and do that... That's going to be pretty amazing. And then you're just going to be so stealthy and sneaky the, the whole time. I'm going to try and just get like uh, right behind them and try and really bully them in the, the sport and try and uh, basically help out the rest of my team so then they can kind of push in and like stand on the, the objective. So that's the plan. We'll see uh, <laughs> whether that plan uh, actually ends up coming true. Uh, it's fun being able to, to double jump as well. He's pretty speedy, this little guy. So uh, let's just try and get right uh, up behind them. Oh, people are getting taken out already. Oh, look at that, look at our planting, they're going crazy. Right, this has been a, a good start for the plants. I haven't done anything yet, but uh, yeah, as I said, so far so good. Right, where are the um, where are the zombies? Oh, here's a guy here. So, how much damage is this thing? Let's just try and push right in, and then try and do my big special move. Oh, they've all like, got taken out before I get them right. Let's go and try and do it now. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> they had no chance. They had absolutely no chance. Right, let's throw down this thing here. That I think all my teammates are invisible when they go in it. It also slows down the enemies when they go in it. So that enemy there I was able to, to take out. Uh, they they were forced to like move around really slow. And now I can kind of go invisible and kind of get behind them. I can maybe try and bully this guy who's trying to jump up onto the, the truck. I haven't really learned how my standard weapon works. Oh, it seems relatively strong. But probably not uh, as strong as some of the, the other ones. But this guy has just no idea that I was just shooting them in the, the back the, the whole time then. Just getting them really weak. I just got to be careful because, yeah, I'm right in their spawn. So there's going to be, like, enemies continually, like, coming up there behind me. And, oh, that's a lot of missiles. That is a lot of missiles. That is a a way to, to counter a sneaky mushroom. Is to jump in the air and fire a whole load of rockets at them. Maybe I was uh, <laughs> being a, a little bit too aggressive on that attack there. Okay, so we were able to, to capture the first objective. That person is not playing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we're moving straight on to the, the next one. Now we need to, to capture the, the mines, uh, which if I remember, was one of the places we defended for quite a while when we were on the, the zombie side. So this one might be a, a little bit more of a difficult place. <laughs> Look at the way I run. <laughs> Look at his little mushroom legs, the way they go. I just kind of want to run around in a, a circle for ages and just kind of not do anything else. Uh, let's plant uh, this guy. He's just going to push in and just uh, do some damage on the point. Oh, I can see a zombie down here. If I go stealthy, I might be able to kind of come up behind them. And oh, they're weak. They're weak. They're weak. They're weak. They're weak. And there we go. I was able to, to finish them off uh, pretty nicely. And that's kind of one of the, the good things. You're just going to take people off guard when you're playing as this guy. I just need to be careful because I, I don't really probably know where they're going to be coming from. So I don't want to be like get me shot in the back while I'm trying to shoot them in the back. And oh, I nearly fell in some goop there. That would have probably not ended well if I ended up falling into the into that goop. Uh, I probably shouldn't be standing on the, the point here. But let me just throw down the invisibility thing. Oh, no. Wrong button. Okay. 
I meant to throw down the invisibility thing, but that was the, the wrong thing. All right, it looks like there's a bunch of enemies up here. Let's uh, not go on the front line because uh, I've only got 75 health, so I haven't got the, the most health out of the, the plants. So I don't want to be in like a, uh, a, a fight where I'm fighting them from the front. I kind of want to sneak behind them like this uh, and try and do some, uh, some da damage behind them. Uh, let's throw this down, which is going to slow them all down if they push into it. Uh, and then, oh, this guy's doing a lot of damage still. Can I use my special move? Oh, I got four health left. Somehow, I am still alive, though, and I can turn invisible, and I can run away and try and heal up. Oh, but there's zombies absolutely everywhere. I just need to run. I just need to run. They are all over the place. <laughs> Is that one going to chase me? Okay, they are, but I can kind of turn invisible and try and sneak behind them. See if we can uh, take out this guy. Oh, that scientist is really weak. Oh, they were able to, to get out of there, though. Uh, this guy is relatively weak. It looks like our whole team's just really, really pushed forward, uh, which is uh, which is pretty good. But is anyone actually, like, standing on the point? Oh, have we already captured it? I think we've already got it. <laughs> Blink and you miss it. We're doing so good here. All right, let's keep pushing forward. Yeah, we've got the mine. Uh, now we need to go and capture the, the old fort. So uh, I think next time I am vanquished, uh, I'm going to go and switch around and uh, try out one of the, the other plants. I wasn't we're just going to win this game too quick. And I'm not going to get a chance to, to try all of them. I definitely like this person, though. This definitely does fit to my play style. I need to learn the, the maps a bit better. But being able to, like, kind of sneak behind and be all stealthy uh, is definitely a way I like to play. Uh, I just need to, to kind of learn how to do their attack properly. Properly. I'm not very effective at just my outright damage. Uh, like once I do sneak behind them, I kind of take too long to, to take them out. And that person's doing some rockets. So the thing with doing the rockets is it does a lot of damage, but they're kind of just stuck standing up in the air for absolutely ages. So it's kind of um, it's kind of an easy time to, to take them out if like you're not the one that they're shooting at. All right then, let's go and throw this down. This is going to turn everyone inside of it invisible. Uh, should do anyway, at least. Uh, and then that should uh, allow them to stay alive. Then I kind of want to flank around the, the side. Uh, let's go and use this crazy move, see if I can get this guy. Oh, they were good. They just uh, ducked out of that, and so they were able to avoid a lot of the, the damage. But this is like 3v1 against that poor scientist there. They had absolutely no chance. And what's this thing? I don't know. It looks like it's an enemy thing, so let's just go and destroy. Oh, did I take someone out? Dr. Heels? Oh, I think that was just like one of the like the little AI guys that you can go and put down there. I was going to say, like, who did I take out then? Right, this person has no idea that I'm shooting them from the, the side, so I can just go and blast and take them out. We are... Like, am I playing with, like, a pro team right here? We are absolutely destroying these guys. That person is very, very weak, but they were able to, to back out. So I got okay range with my weapon. It's just it's just not very good to be, like, accurate at range, because they travel through the, the air quite slowly. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, the team pushing in, they really they are, they are paying me much attention. I think it's just because I'm quite small. Everyone goes and like shoots like all of like the, the giant log plants, but I think they just like don't see me very well. So I'm able just to, to kind of sneak behind them the, the whole time. And uh, right, we've got a proper a proper 1v1 here. Oh, they, I, they backed off. I scared them. Oh no, they're just regrouping. Let's see if I can get some damage on them. And what was that? They just smashed me in the face. Oh, they were so weak. They were so weak. But you know what? I'm kind of glad I got vanquished because now I can go and switch around. So let's go to like Snapdragon. Snapdragon seems to be a character which is just ridiculously deadly. Uh, they basically just have like a whole load of like uh, powerful moves. Oh, I didn't have any upgrades on. Can I put upgrades on here? Uh, I don't think I can. I think I need to do it from the, the menu. It doesn't matter. Basically, the upgrades seem to be... Oh. Who shoot me then? Hello. Oh, hello, little fella. <laughs> just down here in the other spot. Let's just go take this guy out. Uh, yeah, so if I aim in like this, I shoot like a fireball. If I don't, I kind of do just like a flamethrower effect. And then let's just press the buttons to see what my other moves are. So this is kind of like a like a dive where I go down and do damage that way. Uh, this just shoots like a... Um, like a big blue fireball. And I think it can lock on to enemies as well, or it just like follows them naturally. And then my crazy attack is this one, where I fire like a fireball, and it does like a giant wall of fire. So you could kind of go and like, um, do like a, a big line across like the opening to an area. And then if everyone is going to push through it, they're going to take a lot of damage, or they need to wait uh, for the, the fire to go. So it feels like it'd be quite a good like defensive character. I can also kind of float as well. If I hold A as I drop, I can kind of fall down really gradually as well. So uh, I don't know how useful that's going to be. But uh, yeah, something to, to bear in mind uh, as well uh, as something else that I can do. Just a, a bit of a bit of better movement, I guess, if I'm coming down from the, the high ground. All right, there's a lot of enemies around here. There's some up on the high ground and some down here as well. Let's see if I can get them with this like ground pound thing. Oh, I think that was pretty good. Then let's do my lock on thing. And then let's do like the, the wall of fire going down this way. And then this... Uh, guy here is really, really weak. Let's see if I can just push in. Oh, oh they're, they're using the invincibility thing, but they're going to have to come out eventually if I can keep chasing them down. 
Uh, I'm being really way too aggro here and just like pushing into the, the whole team. But I mean, I did a lot of damage. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have uh, been quite as, as aggressive there. I just need to, to learn like the abilities and when to, to use them a little bit more. But yeah, this is like a pretty cool character. Like really like just close range, high damage. It's kind of push in, do a bunch of damage and then just hope you can like survive long enough to, to be able to, to get back out. Uh, so, all right then, let's, uh, let's give it another go. I keep forgetting to sprint. Uh, as well as something that uh, I probably shouldn't keep forgetting to, to do. But yeah, I keep forgetting that I can sprint and then going around really slowly. And oh, someone's behind me. Someone's behind me. Oh, let's just see if I can get out of the way here. No, nope, they're going to charge me down like crazy. I just wasn't expecting someone to, to be there yet. And to be fair, it's the tiny little imp person who's so difficult to <laughs> so difficult to, to see anyway. <laughs> probably one of the, the best zombie characters, or at least one of the most funny, ridiculous ones. Right, let's get in there and let's see if I can get at least one Vanquisher as Snapdragon uh, before I go and try out Acorn. Oh, I might be able to get this person here. This is one like the, the UFO guys. Let's send out this blue thing. So this, this apparently just locks onto enemies, which might be my, my best chance of actually taking someone out. I'm going to be careful now because I kind of thought we had control of this area. But as you can see, there are zombies just absolutely everywhere. So let's set them on fire. So the good thing about if, if I set them on fire, they basically keep like taking continuous damage for the whole time. So I can kind of do some fire. Then I can kind of back off like a little bit and they're going to be continuing to, to take damage. And then when I think they would have like run out of a, um, uh, of the the fire i can then go and like push back in uh, in again but it's the the ground pound i really want to get someone with because that would be just like a a really satisfying way to take someone out with and oh there we go i smashed right into them that was a lot of damage i don't think i was the one who like eventually took them out uh, but i definitely did a lot of damage let's go and take out this little rocket bot down here on the the side uh, there's someone going up on the the high ground there who's throwing some exploding zombies at me let's see if i can hit them with this gun it does 21 per shot which is good and it does set them on fire so they're going to be continually taking damage. Uh, they have kind of charged in after me here. I kind of just want to use this to try and get out of the, the way uh, so I can try and survive. And then I think I was, yeah, I was able to, to take them out then. The, the fire damage was enough just to finish them off. Just the, the last little bit. I think that's some sort of shield there. And this guy might charge after me. So let's just kind of shoot the shoot this. Maybe try and back off a little bit. I might actually just shoot a wall of fire here. Then that way someone probably isn't going to push me until my, uh, my health goes up. Uh, but yeah, we need to destroy this drill. Uh, I kind of haven't really had a chance to focus on that because there's so many zombies absolutely all over the place. It's kind of hard to, to focus on that. All right, let's send out this little blue thing. Let's go for a ground pound if I can. I absolutely miss everyone. There are so many enemies here. It is ridiculous. That was a lot of fire damage. I might be able to take them out. I might be able to get the Vanquish, even though I got taken out. Oh, no, they survived. I don't know if they got healed up or something. Then I thought the fire damage uh, might have been enough to take them out. But anyway, let's try out the last character I haven't tried. Let's try out Acorn. So this is the one. He's ridiculous. So he's kind of little and tiny and a little bit vulnerable looking at first and spins around like a fidget spinner apparently i did not know that was a thing so yeah he's kind of got like these normal attacks but if i uh, press y it takes a little while but i transform into this guy who's just this enormous oak tree trunk that goes around the place and if i if there's already uh, a tree trunk i can like go and like join them if i'm like another acorn which is something that's pretty cool and then i have this big attack or oh, someone's shooting me from miles away over all the way over there i think that person is let's just go and uh, do some long range damage so he does a lot of damage but he's really slow uh, and i have 300 health as well so i can be pretty powerful definitely a, a very tanky hero and then let's go and try some of my other abilities then so if i press right bumper uh, I fire this out. If I press Y, okay, so Y switches me back to an acorn, which is something that I probably don't want to, to do because I'd be quite vulnerable. And then left bumper, it kind of shoots out a bomb that I can then press left bumper again uh, to go and detonate it. So you can kind of leave it somewhere and then wait for an enemy to, to push in uh, and then go and, uh, and set it off. And oh, someone is, who's shooting me? Oh, they're right there. I keep thinking they're like really high above me, but they're not. I know, how can I hit this imp? They're so hard to hit. Let's send out these. And there we go. That was a lot of damage. And now can I go and finish them off? There we go. I think I just squashed them then. But I was down to one health. And I think maybe when I, I'm down to one health, I, it just kicks me out and I go back to the acorn for, um, for maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't, there's, there's someone right there. Right. I don't have time to switch here. So I think they're going to, to die on me. I might have to stay on an acorn. Actually, let's just do it. Let's go bold. I think I like sing. I, like I yodel. And then I come down. And oh no! I got taken out while transforming by a parrot. While my acorn was yodeling, he got taken out by a parrot. And I think this is the only game <laughs> that would make someone say a sentence as absolutely ridiculous uh, as that was. Right then, let's let's get straight back in there. Let's go. In. Oh no! I think I failed. Oh, I didn't have enough time to play as the acorn. I was having too much fun. Who won? 
I think... I think the zombies were able to, to win that round. I think it's going to do the thing where it shoots it all the way up to space and there's a little, like, zombie flag that, that comes out. I think it does seem to be quite an easy point to defend for the zombies because when I played as the, the zombies last time, uh, we were able to, to win uh, that round uh, uh, again there as well. So is it going to be the zombies? It is. <laughs> right then, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do another Turf War game because these games can uh, can take quite a long time. Uh, but let's just go and try and jump into like uh, like a team vanquish mode or something. Uh, kind of more one of the, the more normal modes uh, and kind of check out some of those new levels and see whether there's any other interesting new uh, game modes uh, that I can play in that. Right, so we've jumped into a game of Team Vanquish. We're playing on Daisy Drive. Don't know whether I'm going to be on the, the plants or the zombies yet. I'm kind of secretly hoping to be on the, the plant side, just so I can play Acorn and I'm zombies. Why did I say it? Why did I say it? <laughs> Why did I say it out loud? Right, let's go and play... Um, Let's let's try the uh, the bow guy again. I think it was this guy, wasn't it? The 80s action hero. Let's go and uh, try out this guy. Because this guy seems a little bit crazy. Do a lot of damage. Oh, we are joining halfway through a game. And we are on the losing side. You're never on the winning side, are you? Whenever you join in the middle of a game, you're never on the, the side that's winning. But that's okay. Maybe I'm going to be the, the turnaround player that's going to, to take it from the, the losing side to the winning side. No, I see you down there. There's a little fun guy there on one of these giant oak guys that take a million years to kill my rockets will probably uh, speed up that process a little bit and oh no see this is the the dangerous thing when you're doing that that rocket move it takes so long and is so slow uh, that it's uh, yeah you've got to be a little bit careful and this person has no idea i'm behind them am i going to be able to take them out before they turn around and destroy i think they're lo they're looking for me all right let's do my thing where i duck out of there and i drop the the bomb i think that actually worked really well i still got taken out but like I think I avoided most of the the damage and was able to 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 drop the the bomb. Yeah, I need I need to work out how to do that lock on thing a little bit better. Uh, let's just go to change character, even though I'm not, and uh, let's go and see. Let, yeah, let's read the description of uh, of that one again. So deploy a homing rocket that tracks the target. Oh yeah, that's what it is. I got to shoot them with the bow, and then I fire the rockets, and it kind of like locks onto whoever I hit. So if I hit an enemy like that, I think now. The rocket is going to go to them? Is that how? Or maybe it needs to be like with a fully charged shot or something. It's something to do like that. It's something like i got to hit them with the bow first. Then once they've been hit with the bow, there we go. Now I fire the rocket and that should lock onto the, the person uh, that I just took out there. No, this person's yodeling. No, you don't. No, they were able to get it. I really wanted uh, to get them before they finished yodeling. That was a lot of damage I did there though. But let's try and roll out. Uh, drop my TNT, fire the missile. And no, they were still able to take me out. They must have had like such a tiny little bit of help left. Oh, look at their help on the top of the screen. And to be fair, they have like 300 health or something. So I did a lot of damage. So I definitely helped them getting taken out. And we are, I'm pretty sure it's not because of me, but we are catching up. Is it 23 to, to 18 vanquishes? Right, let's go all out. Let's just ch charge in with my boombox bow and arrow, whatever <laughs> this thing in. And let's try and get a, get a bit more damage. And I think I'm going a little bit too close range for this character. I got pretty decent range with this bow and arrow. So I just want to get one, one good hit on them. And then I'll be able to, to fire the, the, the homing missile to take them out. And oh, look, if I charge it for ages, it gets really accurate. I didn't realize there was like a, a third level to it being able to be charged. So I can just spam it like this to do a tiny bit of damage. I can do it like that and then it will shoot three or I can hold it down for ages. And then I can do like one, like really accurate, uh, probably really dead, uh, deadly shot. And so that's probably what I want to do uh, if I'm at a, a really long range. Okay, I'm getting there the hang of it. So let's uh, try and charge up a little bit try and hit them and then there we go now that should lock on to, to hit them there we go that was good and now oh, they're charging after me like crazy here i should be able to finish them off though they're so weak and there we go i was able to to take them out things are, are definitely going a bit better oh can i join this uh this guy's satellite oh could oh can i not join unless i'm the same type of character as they are oh maybe that's how it was so uh that character they basically make a space station and then other like um zombies can join their space station to make them really strong and i thought i might be able to, to join their space station but maybe i need to be like the same type uh, of zombie uh, to be able to to jump on so i couldn't see any way to to jump on them that'd be a shame i kind of wish anyone would jump on why why do they not let anyone just jump on the the space station right where are some plants there's someone through there it's kind of tricky to get that to get that powerful shot to make sure you hit them everyone's just getting taken out before i see them uh the enemy team has kind of drawn ahead a little bit we were starting to to catch up 
but it's kind of gone back the the other way a little bit now and i am not hitting any of my shots here oh dear let's back off and oh i was able to just about survive but this person they are charging me down run away <laughs> i'm just trying to run around the the car to stay to stay like god they were completely surrounding me there uh let's give someone else a go uh, I'm not doing very well with this person, so <laughs> let's blame the character rather than the, the player. And let's try, um, who else was uh, was new again? Oh yeah, there was the zappy zappy person. Uh, so uh, yeah, this person doesn't seem to do a crazy amount of damage, but it's kind of just fun roll uh, rollerblading it around uh, the, the place. They seem to go really, really quick uh, as well. So let's see if we can uh, we can take anyone else with this. The, um, the, the tornado move seems to be really good against big groups of enemies. So I think this character might be a little bit better for uh, for turf war rather than team vanquish, but uh, we'll give him a go. Uh, let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can track some enemies down. I can see like there's like a mess around here. There's all like people's leftover abilities on the floor. So people definitely have been around here. And oh, this person's in trouble. Let's see if we can go and try and uh, try and help them out. Oh, hello. Oh, this is the dragon guy. Probably don't want to be close to them. Let's send in the uh, the tornado. And it looked like while I was sprinting, oh, I can still use like my um uh, this move. Uh, to kind of go a bit crazy like that. I can use this to kind of just push the enemies back a little bit. And then I can just go crazy shoot them with my electricity. Uh, I seem to have pretty good range of that electricity as well. Yeah, they were really trying to, to run away from the, uh, me there. Uh, but it didn't work out. I just love how fast I can kind of get around the, the place. It's really cool. Uh, who's this here? Oh, they're on my side. Uh, what was my moves again then? What? I can't really remember what it was. Oh uh, yeah, transform into pure energy uh, to be invulnerable. And then the tornado thing. And then what did it say about my weapons? Uh, boogie bolt, uh, damage arcs to nearby enemies. Oh, okay, I see, right. I got taken out because I was reading the, the thing, but hey, I'm gonna learn at some point. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen what the, the score is. I probably shouldn't spend so long reading things in the, the menu when we're getting absolutely destroyed. Uh, oh, 46, oh, it's winnable. Winnable, winnable, winnable. 46 to, to 42. There are only like four vanquishes ahead, but we really cannot afford to lose anyone else. So I've probably just kind of thrown it for my team by messing up the way I did. Oh, there's a lot of enemies there. Let's just go and throw a tornado out here. I've gotta be careful because there's a, a, a pea shooter on the, the high ground. Uh, but it looks like they're pushing after my buddy rather than me. So let's just go crazy with the, the lasers if we can. Uh, I'm going to try and push them back a little bit just to mess them up. And I think I was literally the last person in the, the game to, to get taken out. So there we go. We played two games. And we lost two games. <laughs> oh, well, as I said, we've got to learn somewhere. So yeah, now I have tried out. All of the, the different zombies and the, the different plant uh, classes. Uh, yeah, as I said, I'm going to go and try and master them uh, a little bit better. Well, not master them, at least just kind of get a little bit better at them. Uh, and then, yeah, next video uh, I come back to, to do. Uh, hopefully I'll be a little bit better at the, the game and we can uh, help out uh, our team more than I have been doing so far. But this game is so fun. I don't know why I stopped playing The Last Plants vs. Zombies. It was such an amazing game. Uh, but I just haven't played it in like years and years. I guess there's been so many other new games that have been coming out. But yeah, I'm just excited uh, to kind of get back into the Plants vs. Zombies zombies madness as it were so hopefully you enjoyed this video uh, more will be coming up at some point in the, the future so stay tuned for that but for now and i thank you all very much for watching and i will see you all later bye